Good evening, everyone. I um, call this meeting to special meeting to order at 6 p.m. in council chambers. I uh, do believe we have remote electronic attendance, correct? Yes, I would like to make a motion to approve the remote electronic attendance of Alderperson Jessica Finch at the Special Committee of the Whole and City Council meeting of June 27, 2004, due to employment purposes. Second. All right, motion by McNeil, seconded by Timian. Roll call, please. Alderperson Murphy. Present. Macias. Oh, it's an I or an A. Oh, I. <laughs> Thank you. Razak. Aye. Timian? Aye. McNeil? Aye. Castro? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. All right. Um, Aye for me, too. Mm -hmm. She can't vote on it. You actually vote. can't vote on it because you're the one oh. out there. No problem. <laughs> I think you just made sure we had that process correct. Um, all right. Now we have roll call, please. Alderperson Murphy? Present. Macias? Razak? Present. Timian? Present. Finch? Present. McNeil? Present. Castro? Present. Schmidt? Present. All right, is there any public comment this evening? <coughs> All right. We move to, there's no questions on the agenda. I don't have any modifications. So our first uh, item of business is 6.1, a resolution authorizing the proposed amendment, substantial amendment two to the city of Moline's 2023 annual action plan, substantial amendment one, that was approved by City Council at the City Council meeting held on November 14, 2023. Council Bill Resolution Number 1199-2023 for the purpose of program funding reallocation and authorizing the Mayor and City Clerk to execute and attest to the program activity set forth in the City of Mullings 2023 Annual Action Plan. Substantial Amendment 2 upon the Department of Housing and Urban Development's approval of said Amendment 2. Mm. Ms. Whitley. <laughs> All right, well, good evening and a sincere, a sincere thank you to the council for coming in tonight for this special meeting. One of the reasons that we're having that I requested this special meeting is uh, the 2024 mm -hmm. annual action plan is due to, not Ida, but HUD on July 6th. Mm -hmm. The next council meeting is July 9th. So I'm just trying to make that deadline. So we can get the money faster, so we can spend it faster. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you. The amendment for this is to take the money in the home buyers project line and move it over to what we call NIP, neighborhood infrastructure projects. Uh, we're trying to do a lot of projects out of NIP. Uh, NIP is a, a project line where we can spend money quickly. As you know, um, we have a timely test, timely test on November 2nd. Uh, where they're going to test our money in the bank and we need to get money in and move money out. Uh, so when we say the elimination of the home buyers program, we're not eliminating the program. The program still exists. Currently we have about $180,000 in that program. So even that's the number with this money being moved out. So currently I have about 12 files on my desk so we're actively working on those files with the clients. Uh, the program's still going to be around. Uh, either we're going to fund it every year or every other year as necessary because it's a very good program for us. We want people to move into Moline. Uh, so that's the reason we're asking for the substantial amendment. In our citizens' participation plan, eight things constitutes an amendment for CDBG, and this is one of them. So when we say elimination, it's more HUD speak than anything else. So oh, I'm requesting um, authorization to approve this. Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Schmidt, seconded by Timian. Discussion by the council? Yes. I just have one question. How much um, do you estimate a year that you um, give for the home buyer's assistance program? Well, each applicant is eligible for 7,100. You cannot have any cash back at the table. So, when you go to buy your home, Ida introduced a new program two weeks ago. We went down to one rule for that, uh, where you can get anywhere from six to 10,000, so they can come in first, and then we'll come in third. Uh, but each homeowner has to contribute at least $1,000 in that program, and then they're required to take a home buyer class over at Rock Island Grove uh, for that program. So most people get the 7,100, but they just can't have any cash back at the table. Okay, thanks. thank you. Um, will there be 
Where would we look for how many home buyers or we have assisted, at, like a trend in the last five years, say? We can probably pull that together from in the next week or so. Okay. For you guys. Or yeah, and maybe it's just something that I'm missed in in a um, status and information report somewhere, a quarterly one or or something. But it'd be that'd be handy information for us. Sure, sure. We can start reporting on that to you guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else from the council? Hearing none. Roll call, please. Alderperson Murphy. Aye. Razak. Aye. Timian. Aye. Finch. Aye. McNeil. Aye. Castro. Aye. Schmidt. Aye. All right, that motion passes. Uh, 6.2, resolution authorizing the mayor to make application to enter into an agreement and to execute all necessary assurances and certifications to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for CDBG entitlement funding under the Housing and Community Development Act of 1974 as amended of certain projects and program for fiscal year 2024 and approving projects and program recommendations of the Citizens Advisory Council on Urban Policy for the use of 2024 Community Development Block Grant Funds and the 2024 Annual Action Plan, which contains said projects and programs, and authorizing the mayor to implement those approved projects and programs upon the approval of the City of Moline 2024 Annual Action Plan by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and to exercise any and all powers required to obtain such funding and to implement those approved projects. Thank you, Mayor. Mm -hmm. um, so for both of these, the 2023 Annual Action Plan, Substantial Amendment Number 2, and the 2024 Annual Action Plan, uh, um, we have something in our policies and procedures called Citizen Participation Plan that requires us to have at least one public hearing, a 30-day comment period, then it goes to CAC up for approval, which went on June 20th, and it was approved at that time. Now it's come to council for consideration so we can go on and send it off tonight. Tonight we will begin 45 days for HUD to look at both of those plans. Uh, as long as they approve the plan, they will send us what's called a contract and we will provide that to the mayor. But in the meantime, we also have to do environmentals for all these projects. So on that budget line, are your projects and the way that HUD looks at it, your fist is your project, your activities or the locations of the activities uh, for that project. So we had to do all those environmentals and then alongside with the 30 day comment period, we had to publish 15 days. Now they're allowing us to put it on our websites. Before we had to put it in a newspaper, which nobody really read, but that was a requirement at that time. But now they have eased up on that where we can put it on the website for 15 days. Then we take a day, we email it to HUD then they have another 15-day comment period at HUD for our environmentals. So once we completed that and once they approve the plan, they'll send us the contract, mayor signs that. Once the mayor signs that, then they will send us what's called a UG, authority to use grant funds, and then we can be begin our project. So, but um, these projects, again, what's new or what's carried over from the 2023 is the homestead program. We do have our first homestead house that we are currently working on. I uh, hope to have that done by the end of the year and out for sale. Um, otherwise, we have our rehab program where we used to have an emergency program too, but we combined the two. Because basically it's the same component. But with an emergency, you're allowed to move up on the waiting list in front of everybody. Uh, but basically it's the same things that we're covering. Um, and then our neighborhood infrastructure project, again, water, sewer, streets, sidewalks, things like that. Um, neighborhood signs, things like that also. And then our planning activities, that's where we're working with consultants on plans. Um, currently, I don't know if you guys seen Facebook today, but we did put out the analysis of impediments and housing needs survey today. So that is local, that's gonna run uh, for about 60 days here. And then we're gonna follow up with some town hall meetings, looks like about the week, the second week in August, I believe we're trying to target for that. Uh, with our consultants. I know I'm going down the road. I shouldn't be going down. Sorry about that. And then uh, the rest is administration and then co-compliance. So um, we're asking for approval to approve this budget so we can forward this document to HUD for approval. Thank you. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Timmy and seconded by Castro. Discussion? Hearing none, uh, roll call please. Alderperson Murphy. 
Aye. Raza? Aye. Timian? Aye. Finch? Aye. McNeil? Aye. Castro? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. All right. Again, thank you guys Motion very much. passes. Thank you. And um, we'll call our regular council meeting to order. Pledge of Allegiance, please. Do not have an invocation today. Roll call, please. Alderperson Murphy. Present. Macias. Razak. Present. Timian. Present. Finch. Present. McNeil. Present. Castro. Present. Schmidt. Present. All right. So we have non consent agenda second reading ordinances. Item number 11.1. .1. Nope, sorry. Non consent agenda resolutions. Oh, sorry. That wrong. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Non-consent agenda resolutions. A resolution approving the proposed amendment, substantial amendment two, to the City of Moline's 2023 annual action plan, substantial amendment number one that was approved by City Council at the City Council meeting held on November 14, 2023, Council Bill slash resolution number 1199-2023 for the purpose of program funding reallocation and authorizing the mayor and city clerk to execute and attest to the program activity set forth in the city of Moline's 2023 annual action plan, substantial amendment two, upon the Department of Housing and Urban Development's HUD approval of said amendment two. Is there a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Castro, seconded by Razak. Discussion? Thank you for being timely with this. <laughs> All right. Um, Hearing no nothing further, roll call, please. Alderperson Murphy? Aye. Razak? Aye. Timian? Aye. Finch? Aye. McNeil? Aye. Castro? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. Seven, seven ayes, no nays, and that motion carries. Item number 11.2, a resolution authorizing the mayor to make application to enter into an agreement and to execute all necessary assurances and certifications to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for Community Development Block Grant, entitlement funding under the Housing and Community Development Act of 1974, as amended, of certain projects and programs for fiscal year 2024 and approving projects and program recommendations of the Citizens Advisory Council on Urban Policy for the use of 2024 Community Development Block Grant funds and the 2024 Annual Action Plan, which contains said projects and programs and authorizing the mayor to implement those approved projects and programs upon the approval of the City of Moline 2024 Annual Action Plan by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and to exercise any and all powers required to obtain such funding and to implement those approved projects. Is there a motion? Motion, motion to approve. All right, that's, I got Finch first and Castro second. second. Thank you. Discussion? Hearing none, roll call please. Alderperson Murphy? Aye. Razak? Aye. Timian? Aye. Finch? Aye. McNeil? Aye. Castro? Aye. Schmidt? Aye. Seven ayes, no nays. That motion carries, and that's all I have this evening, Your Honor. All right, thank you. Miscellaneous business, really quick, because I know you all want to get going. I had a great meeting with the Youth Commission today, a special meeting with them. They usually take the summer off. Um, they have way more requests coming in than they are funded for. Um, they had about over $27,000 worth of requests and they only had $10,000 to, to work with. So I'll be talking with finance and administrators about what their plans are. Um, they are looking at some strategizing, uh, as I mentioned a few weeks ago, thinking more about what they can do um, working with the specific population and working with what their charge is in the um, code, uh, potentially modifying a piece of that. But it was a really good discussion. So I wanted you to know that um, we had a lovely forum. Great input from the staff, by the way, <laughs> library parks and the police department. It, it was a really nice discussion. And I've brought some ideas back for um, our staff from US Conference of Mayors, and we'll see where all that goes. Uh -huh. We'll be in in the future. Ms. Murphy. Nothing given. Mr. Razak. I had ward meeting on 19th, but I am keeping my thanks reserved for 
today. I will thank uh, our staffs and director in our next regular meeting. So since this is a special meeting today, I am especially thanking Mr. Bob, not for my 19th meeting, but <laughs> for giving me a long tour yesterday and taking me to our uh, solar agri project. Ah, oh, okay. He went down. He took him down to oh, the, where the see, solar so solar the farm will be. Farm yeah. is be All right. It is amazing. It's an Once amazing again, place. thank you very much. Great, great. Thank you, Mr. Timian. Thank you, Your Honor. I just want to congratulate the city for uh, being a part of the uh, Rivers Edge Redevelopment Zone. Mm -hmm. right. um, it's going to open up a lot of opportunity. I didn't realize how far it went. Bob told me fifteen hundred yards. Right. Um, so nearly a mile from the river is eligible for some of these funds. And so I think that that with the TIF and the plans we have for downtown are going to be, it's, it's a great opportunity. So thank you all for anyone who did any work on that. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Nothing, Your Honor. All right. Nothing, Your Honor. Nothing, Your Honor. Miss Finch, sorry we missed you. That's okay. Nothing, Your Honor. <laughs> I, I will say um, thank you for bringing that up. It was a pleasure to be a part of that press conference yesterday. And um, really, I think, Mr. Mathias, one of the first things you may have come and done last year, time is crazy. I can't remember anything. But <laughs> we convened mayors and city administrators and Rep. Johnson and Senator Halpin former Renew Moline exec and current Moline, Renew Moline exec. And at that meeting at the Poor Brothers Room is where I think you may have brought up River's Edge. So thank you. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a team effort, but thank you, Mary. Yeah, I, I mean, really, uh, I spoke with Janet Mathis yesterday, and she said this was such a long time coming, and it was really amazing. So thank you. And also, I, I meant it. like. It's really nice to see something happen within a year of us talking about it because of the, you know, the common um, stereotype is that government doesn't do anything timely. <laughs> it moves really slowly. So thank you, everybody. Mr. Vitas. Nothing this evening, Your Honor. Okay. Anybody else? All right. Uh, public comment? No executive session? No. Your Motion honor. to adjourn. Second. Second. <laughs> wow. That's Schmidt and Timmy. And um, oh, so but team. I still have to roll call you guys. Yeah. <laughs> roll call, please. Alderperson Murphy. Aye. Macias. Oops, sorry. Razak. Aye. Timmy. Aye. Finch. Aye. McNeil. Aye. Castro. Aye. Schmidt. Aye. All right, we're adjourned. Thank you.